Hey everybody, welcome back to Vampire. Uh, we were just talking to Dorothy, and uh, she mentioned that they don't have like any antiseptic left because of the overrun of patients. And we were explaining that sometimes if you combine certain like household chemical ingredients, you can achieve the same thing. So she said that um, since the hospital is so overrun, that the only place that they store all this stuff is the old morgue. So we're gonna head down there, and uh, you know damn right that it's gonna be infested. So, should be interesting. She gave us a key to access it in, like, some, uh, back door at the end of an alleyway. So this is back out to where the garden was, I believe. But now... I cannot okay. enter. Yeah, so here was the garden. Let's see. Maybe it's this side? Yeah, here we go. What is this? Oh, it's all just like quarantine influenza signs. All right. Some vampire skills work better in synergy. Try out different skill combinations and perform deadly combos. All right. Okay, so that, okay, okay. If you notice in the bottom right, um, we picked up a new skill as well. So our actives, we actually have, okay, so we can have four actives at one time, it looks like. This coagulation is kind of like, I guess, going to hold people. Um, and then we can beat them, <laughs> I guess, which is a decent thing to attempt. So we'll try that if we run into any problems down here. Um, but it does use blood, right? So. And we're getting low on blood, so we're going to have to uh, feast. Okay, we need to find ferrous tartrate, quinine or quinine, and sodium hypochlorite. I'm waiting. I know something's gonna jump out at us. There's no way that it doesn't. Jesus. Oh. My eyes don't deceive me. Oh, is this a, uh... Hold on. This is the door that was locked. Now, I wonder... If we can, if we open this from the inside, if we can now come back in... ...from this direction. Yes, we can. That's actually awesome. Okay, cool. So you can open up, like, shortcuts and stuff. I like that. in here? Um, we have some things that are above and some things that are below, but it doesn't look like anything is on the current floor. And this way down is it's locked. locked. So we're gonna have to find something at some point to get in there. I like all the detail that we have in here, like... This could very easily just be, like, empty rooms, but... Oh, hello. Okay, so let's see how this works. I probably can't even afford it. Oh, I can! Yeah, so it does what it, it, does what it says. Holds them in place. Come on now. Come on now. I'm a little bit late on these parries. Okay, still late. Whoa, whoa. There, kind of. Oh, I'm too low. Oh no! All my stamina is gone. Careful. Get off! Whoa, we are like almost dead here. Change this up. Oh, feed, feed, feed! 
I might kill him and then Behavior we can heal too. Is similar to the infected William Bishop. <sighs> Must be the same strain. This sickness moves faster than influenza. And like as a doctor, we're trying to like reason with why this is possibly happening. Watery, sturdy blood sample. Okay. Alright, here's something. That's the quinine or quinine. We also need to find a key for the morgue basement. Okay, we got a locked door here. Balls of Mars. Fortified. There we go. Ferris tartrate. As popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. Not quite what we need. What? This key will surely oh, grant me key. access to the basement. Which I guess will lead us to the sodium hypochlorite, won't it? What the hell? Whoa! Yeah, let's wait till he moves, and then we'll use the spikes. Damn it! Okay, I think in our offhand, I actually want to go back to the stun thing. This can work too, but it's less damage, and with having that stick, we don't have to waste ammo too, right? Very nice. Very nice. Let me just check back here. Shotgun shells, bullets, thank you. Now, before we go down, what else is happening here? Watery rich blood samples. So these must be things that we then analyze, right? Because we analyzed that first guy's blood, so see what that leads to. Whoa, what the hell? What the? Hey, let's see if we can sneak up on this guy. I know I saw that one on the right, so I'm a bit These worried, but... scales feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not out of blood. Look at that. Oh no! We're quick. Got him. Oh, that's cool. I like that they're not all the exact same, like, they, they do have different resistances. So you're, like, encouraged to change up the way that you approach each enemy. Oh. I can see investing in bite damage being, uh, pretty helpful. Yeah, see, it doesn't work well unless we do it after he already makes his move. Damn it. Knew that was gonna happen. There we go. Come on, man. Let's heal up a bit. That's actually a decent way of doing it. 
shoot him to kind of break his guard and then go in. Rick. Yeah, I get why she sent me instead of wanting to come here herself. Makes sense. I don't want to be here either. <laughs> leave the bodies out. Death report. Local investigations. A new citizen investigation is available. Nice. Okay. Citizen investigations are displayed here categorized by districts. You can start a new citizen quest by tracking with X and access your map to explore... to locate the area to explore. Okay. The harder they fall. Find out the cause of death. Read the report of Dr. Tippett's concerning the death of Samuel Connor. I'm not quite convinced right now. Perhaps I should conduct my own investigation to determine the patient's Real cause of death. So, um, let's see. Samuel Connor. Race. Caucasoid? The hell is that? Uh, male. Age 39. Fisherman. Type of death. Natural. Probable cause of death. Fast progressing pneumonia by virus induced pulmonary consolidation. Spanish influenza. Uh, Tippett's investigated. Or, uh,. Was that the examination? Gwyneth Brannigan, name and signature of medical examiner, Tippett. So maybe we want to talk to Tippett's? Like, is Mr. that a Connor's thing? Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. Thank you. I gotcha. Use Liston knife. You just acquired a new type of offhand weapon. Equip it and press Y to directly absorb blood. Okay. Okay. Um... So now we don't even need to... Five blood absorption. It's not a lot, but let's see if it, if it adds up. It's worth trying. It's locked, all right. The second locked chest that we found. One at the very beginning. Jesus. What the hell are these noises? Like... I do not need that in my life. Cool. Oh, that's so strong. That is so strong. I wish there was like some type of um, like a sneak mechanic, you know? Oh, I see. Oh, you know damn right. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, John Doe. Uh, okay. Oh, resisted. Okay. Whoa. Oh, he like kind of morphs a bit. Just, I guess he just does what we do. Get him. Oh, nice. move. Yeah, our stamina is going to be a problem. I think we missed him. Okay, let's try the blood thing. Okay, it's very subtle, but it's better than nothing. Whoa! Come on! There it is. Wow, cool. These skulls can be so ferocious. These guys are no joke. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Seriously. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. So like, I can see- here's- here's the challenge that we're gonna have, right? We're gonna run into these, like, bigger and stronger enemies, and we're gonna be like, man, we need to be stronger, not just, like, stats and, like, health and whatever, but different abilities and, um, all sorts of other- we want different tools at our disposal. And if we're not feasting on people, we are gonna have a problem. So, as I said earlier, um, 
We're definitely going to need to be feasting on people. Sodium hypochlorite. Not going to be pacifist. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. But hopefully we can make smart decisions about who exactly we feast on. And I guess we'll still learn about that as we fill out these, like, social circles a little bit more. Oh, we have a workbench here. All right. Uh, you have enough components to craft a medicine treatment for fatigue. Now, wait. We had somebody uh, that had fatigue. Don't we? Treatment for anemia, fatigue. Look at this. Glass vial, quinine, ferrous tartrate. All right. Let's analyze this blood sample. That unlocks another serum. Serum. Light regen. Light blood serum. Regenerating 60 points of blood instantly. But in addition to treatments, we can make these serums for ourselves. What's this formula? Whoa. Treatment for cold. Oh, cool. So uh, additional diseases based on finding these things. Um, cold. Bronchitis. Pneumonia. All right, let's make a thing for uh, fatigue. I do believe that we saw that somewhere. And then while we're here, might as well turn these. Just seeing what these things need. Potassium permanganate. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a doctor basically. I'm gonna be a doctor soon, like, in the next few hours. <laughs> I'll be full-on doctor. At least I can talk like one. Yeah, let's take this back to her now. Um, let's heal up as much as we can. On cooldown. Alright. Now, let's, uh, let's take a look at these people, because... There was somebody right here, fatigue. Clay Cox, right. The guy that we found at the very beginning. Um... We can cure with treatment for fatigue. Now, he was in a fight with that guy by the river. I think he killed him and, like, pushed him into the river. Uh, and then we brought him to the hospital. I'd like to find out what these other hints are. But we can at least cure that um, aspect of him. And then there was Dyson Delaney as well. This is the guy I actually was thinking of. Um, he's the dude that works or that was drinking at the bar and was very drunk. So... We can cure either of them. But I can definitely see that our reliance on finding ingredients to cure these guys is going to become really important. And... Ooh, hello. Come here, big boy. Let's go. Let's go. Man, I so quickly burned through my stamina without even thinking about it. Oh, come on. I kind of like this, um, this offhand weapon. Actually. Oh, come on. I should probably be doing this a lot more often. There's two here. We'll get his blood. Oh, no! Oh boy. We're gonna be in a spot of bother here. Oh, got them both. Nice. Okay. Let's motor. Uses to look for citizens. There's Milton. Pippa. So I guess anybody that's unknown, we at least want to talk to. 
um, to kind of put them on the on the board, as it were. Maybe one of these doctors? Because we're looking Good for evening, that one doctor. guy. I believe we're going to be working together. Dr. Reed. Dr. Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Such an honor, sir. <laughs> Thank you. And you Our are... Our legend precedes us. Strickland. Dr. Thoreau Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, Dr. Reed. Nice. What can you tell me about the Pembroke? Well, it has always been an honor to work with Dr. Swansea. But with your arrival, I can't think of a better opportunity to learn about blood transfusion. <laughs> Dr. Swansea's great, but you're way better. Do you need help with anything in particular? Well, yes, maybe. I'm waiting for a batch of products I ordered for my personal research, yet my supplier seems to have vanished. Do you want me to play the errand boy for you? <laughs> oh, no. Dr. Exactly Reed. what I was thinking. But if you went personally to his shop, what with your reputation and all, he wouldn't dare to refuse the products I need. I see. So well, kind of. give me the address, for I may pass by if I have time. I'm willing to bet money, though, that that, um, that will let us buy ingredients for things. You seem quite optimistic. It's a rare and precious attitude in these difficult times. I'm convinced that this epidemic is a test. A test of endurance and dedication for us men of science. Questions remain about our capacity to resolve the situation. True. True. Last summer, during the first wave of the epidemic, I used to joke with Milton about the extra work. We're not smiling now. Please, could you tell me something about yourself? I'm a great admirer of your work concerning <laughs> blood transfusion, Dr. This guy's looks obsessed with us. I run my own experiments. I'm convinced it's the future. What about your I experiments? I based my technique on my mentor's research. He helped me perfect my method. What is yours? I'd rather not talk about it. For now, what? it's just theories and first approach. We've got to bounce my ideas off each other. Is purely experimental and unsuccessful. As long as you're cautious and Ooh. methodical, you may remain empty-handed, but you won't fail. You're not the first one to warn me. But I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. I wouldn't disagree with you. What made you choose to be a doctor? I'm not ashamed to admit you and your work have inspired me. Well, we're like literally this I guy's hero. I am honored to have the opportunity to work by your side. It's always a pleasure to share scientific and medical knowledge with someone eager to learn. I'll be glad to help you if I can. This epidemic may be the century's most terrible disaster, but I'm convinced that we, as doctors, are the only ones able to defeat it. Okay, so what was the thing that we unlocked? Maybe personal questions? Ah. Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him? Or to prove your point? Probably both. Fair question. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. What, what's his... What's his story? Tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father. Ashamed of putting his children at risk because of his own negligence. Typical. RV Fiddick. Okay, cool. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. But that does not excuse Dr. Ackroyd's behavior. A man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping his distance was a mistake? All I know is that I'm taking care of human beings with desires, hopes, and fears. Not some biological machine comprised of blood, bones, and flesh. Different doctors, totally different approaches. Talking to this guy, we unlock a hint about somebody we don't even know, so that when we talk to them later, we can really get into it, you know? Alright, cool. And so, even though we've went in here and we've exhausted these options, it remains white because there's further hints that um, we can find out about Goodbye, later. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Gotcha. Dorothy. 
Let's go and talk to this guy. I wonder. Let me see this. So missing ingredients. That's to, uh, or f that's for Strickland that we just found out about. This one, find out the cause of death. Uh, read the report of Dr. Tippett's. So maybe if we can find that guy, we get information. And maybe this is Tippett's. Let's see if we can find him. Oh, here's Fiddick. Oh, let's talk to him while we're here. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. May I help you? I don't know if a third opinion is needed. <laughs> Your colleagues are already arguing yeah, so about I've my heard. condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Okay. Let's go here first. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Fiddick. I'm just a regular guy waiting to get his arm fixed. So I can return to work and to my family. I was more curious about what you were doing before being hospitalized. I'm a carpenter. And a good one, too. But that means I need both arms to feed my family, Dr. Reed. Yeah, fair enough. Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Aykroyd. They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with rivals on a building site. Difference is, I disagreed about wooden nails, not flesh and bones. Are you satisfied with your treatment here? Well... It's clear that I've chosen a bad time to be injured. Forgive my bluntness, but you seem overwhelmed by cases of the flu. <laughs> you think? I won't lie to you about it. I'm afraid we are. That's an are you sure you don't want to operate yourself, Dr. Reed? I have the feeling you're very capable. <laughs> and your colleagues seem to think so too. In other circumstances, you would be right. But for now, I don't think I can take on the responsibility. My apologies. Because I might drain your blood. Tell me about your injury, Harvey. Why do you feel so guilty about it? My wife died because of me. Whoa. And now I may lose everything because I've been careless enough to hurt myself. What an arsehole. Okay. Eh? So... How could your job be responsible for your wife's death? I was working a double. She went out to bring me a hot meal and got caught in a German bomb raid. Jeez. I don't know if that's necessarily your fault. You can't hold yourself responsible for your injury, Mr. Fiddick. Unless you tried to hurt yourself. Of course I didn't hurt myself. But I can't work until my arm is fixed. I got it, my I got it. My children need to eat, Doctor. I got kids too. Tell me more about the death of your wife, Harvey. 1915. I was in the army. Building workshops for the Royal Flying Corps. Few years back. Helen was happy I wasn't sent to the front. What happened? The Germans sent Zeppelins to bomb the construction site, but they missed their target. My wife was bringing my dinner when the bombs fell. I'm sorry for your loss. So many died during the bombings. Our time I in service. In France and witnessed the carnage We're going to use that to connect like with a lot of people, I think. Suffer. Truth is, I have no idea. I just know that I'm all that me kids have. Poor little bleeders. Our little bleeders getting on. How are your children after losing their mother? They were smaller then. The only good thing about this is my Ellen didn't bring them with her that night. Okay. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. To Can't feast on him. He's got kids. So that's going to be like that's those are going to be the tough decisions we got to make, right? And if you were just going around feasting on people, then uh, strong possibility that if you don't know their history, you're going to make a really bad decision. But uh, everyone's going to have reasons to remain alive and reasons not to. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yeah, I found everything. Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls. When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. 
When you finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Okay, diseases decrease the blood quality of a citizen. Use the correct medicine to heal them. Speak to the patient in the room behind Dorothy to check his medical status. All right. We kind of already figured that out, but let's see if we can help this guy. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? <laughs> Why are you no. here then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. I like that name. Diseases. Press RB to check the medical status of the citizen. Do you need citizen. any help? I'm afraid I may. Oh, sir. it's like an actual... Okay. I don't mean to be a burden. We'll give him medicine, sure. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Treatment. Okay, so he had fatigue as well. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Goswick. I don't want to talk, Doctor. We're so we have a really good bedside manner. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, if I'm gonna help you... I'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate, sir. Would it help if I gave you some paper and a pen? Not really. I see. Then maybe it's not just your throat <laughs> that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Perhaps your sore throat is just the consequence of something more. Oh, um, deep, yes, maybe. deep, Jonathan, deep. But I don't want to talk or even write about it now. How painful. I just want to see, I... we can skip those. But... I'll let you get some rest then. Good evening, sir. All right, all right. Doctor. So who are you? Yeah, look at this. Your blood quality is looking pretty good right now, Mr. Goswick. Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. I've, I gathered that. Could you check on him, please, Dr. Reed? I did. I've heard much of your talents as a physician. Oh, uh, maybe she can give me info to talk to him about then. Do you require medical attention as well, Mrs. Goswick? I have other concerns right now, doctor. But I'm fine, thank you. Okay, so we should probably do that with most people. What can you tell me about yourself, Mrs. Goswick? Not much to say. Just take care of my Mortimer and I'll cover all the expenses. That's all that matters. I like that approach. Are you really that <laughs> rich? Most of the patients here are of a more humble origin, if I may say so. Slightly. Yes, thanks to my husband. May he rest in peace. I can cover any needed medical expenses. May I ask if you have an occupation, Mrs. Goswick? I'm a teacher by profession. I teach young women who are more ambitious about their futures than their families. All right. You seem nice. What do you think of your reception here? Any complaints? I have had the uttermost reservations about this hospital since we arrived. Why did we, we ask? had no other choice, considering the state of emergency. Is there something in particular that's oh. bothering you? Some of the staff were not especially welcoming. I suspect they're not accustomed to dealing with patients of such social oh, standing. Oh, yeah, no, you're because you're so much better than everybody else. Tell me more about your arrival at the Pembroke Hospital. What gave you such a bad first impression? Oh, the ambulance driver uh, was quite rude hello. for a start. Okay. And that nurse, Miss Hawkins, seems <laughs> to have quite a dubious attitude. What do you mean? She managed to secure a bed for my son despite the epidemic. It was a relief. They could have it refused you. Cheap. Wait. She charged you? She charged you for a bed? Yes, and I paid without Whoa. question, considering the urgency of the situation. Interesting. I share your concern, Mrs. Goswick. Be sure that I'll talk to the people involved. I don't expect compensation, Dr. Reed. But I'm aware such behavior would not be tolerated in other hospitals. So we're gonna get, like, uh, this is kind of cool how we're gonna get, uh, I guess, Influenced by other people once we learn their secrets, you know? Uh, personal questions? Nothing. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Okay. So now, 
I, the one thing that is going to be tough is like, oh, we're going to learn all these little things about other people. But if we don't follow up immediately, it's going to be really hard to remember them all. You know? How long must I wait, Danny? Uh, blood Temptation. Remember, Citizen's Blood will provide you a massive XP boost. Look for Citizen's of your mesmerized level or below and choose wisely. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Hey, um, Pippa. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Okay. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Yeah, bye. Bye for now. I'm gonna go see Edgar. All right, let's, uh, I think we'll wrap it up here. And then when we come back, we'll talk to Edgar and we will see what he wants from us. Uh, there's a couple of people we need to follow up with about some of the extra clues that we found. But uh, yeah, where XP is building actually, building pretty well, if I may say so. The higher level stuff is obviously gonna require us to sacrifice some people. And uh, we're gonna be the ones who decide who's going down and who's not. So should be fun. Wish me luck, we'll see you guys very soon. Take care, bye.